So we are still on the J. Chris and then Hermes interview on 3FM. You know, they both spoke about the, uh, their regrets, what they've learned and all that and how, you know, they are coping life after perfect match extra for Hermes. She, she, she's missing the house because, Shali, when it comes to food, because when you are in the big mama house, you don't really have to think about, you know, what you eat because by the time you wake up, Shali, food is ready. Food is ready. It's like, you know, the Nigerian girl who uh, composed this song. Yes, uh, if when, when I, I wish I was a kid again because when I was a kid, all I was thinking about is, you know, play and chop. Yes, play and chop. Then times we, I was just playing and chopping. Yes, but for J. Chris, she apologized to Tessie once more. Like J. Chris apologized to Tessie once more for how she treated, he treated Tessie and how he ended, ended the whole relationship and all that. So this is what happened on 3FM when J. Chris and then Hermes were the guests speaking about the endorsement deals. They want more endorsement and all that. So let's go and then watch that interview where J. Chris had to apologize once more. Tessie, this is Royalty TV Studios. Let's check out the video. I'd like to tell your fans before I let you both go. Um, a message out to the fans, those who have supported you over the last season, and most importantly, what they should look out for. Who would like to start? Her mates. Um, I just want to say thank you. I am super grateful to Jemez, her mind, and uh, um, Jay Ami for keeping us in the show for seven, for me, seven weeks and him nine weeks. Ooh, that is long. That is a long run. So to do that, and I stress you guys with all the defending <laughs> and the basketballs on the daily. I really appreciate you guys um, for coming through for us. It is a blessing. I just want to say thank you to TV3, actually to AJ Sapon, everybody. <laughs> and also, um, yeah, so look up for... Um, um, I'm going to concentrate on school and also give you guys your the content that you deserve. Mm, mm, give mm. you top-notch content, um, fashion, fashion style. Yes. So I'll be vlogging fashion, okay. relationship, probably be coming up with some podcasts here we and there. We love that. Okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, look up for more in our clothing line. All maybe. right, I love it, I love it, Kindly I love it. bring the ambassadorial deals. Bring it all, bring it. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Okay, so... Uh, Jay Chris as well, yourself? Uh, so I want to say a very, a very big thank you to Jay Ami. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go into details, but yesterday we had some, you know, one or two. Uh, okay. So, so I just want to use this platform to say a very big thank you and to Hemites too and um, um, JMS. They've done a lot that coming out i've seen some one or two videos and i really appreciate them and also uh let me say to the if i say the wicked ones or the toxic ones <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm seeing them i'm seeing the memes and all that but I, i'm just begging them to let it calm down yeah and i appreciate the love and yeah one thing someone made this request that i should apologize again for hurting her for breaking her heart um, during the Tessie situation. All right. <laughs> I want to use this opportunity to say a very big sorry to everyone I disappointed or hurt. Life goes on. Mm, life does go on. What's the first thing you did when you came out? Eat burger. <laughs> <laughs> you're certainly craving that, weren't you? Yes. <laughs> and yourself, J. Chris? Same. Okay. Yeah, we went together. Well, okay, so first day. thing is just like, let's at, grab a very sorry, juicy. At 5 a.m. At 5? Yeah, let's go eat burger. At 5 a.m. So I mean, literally like, yeah, we're out of the house. We can do whatever we want now, yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, but how's the experience? Let's start from there. Starting off in a house for nine weeks, cut off from everybody else, having no phone access, having very little engagement to the outside world. How, how was it? I miss being in the house for do you? certain reasons. Please do tell. The sun is hot. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to put any sun in there. No, yeah? <laughs> the sun is hot. I'll be eating chicken by now. I know, now, right? <laughs> now I need to be wondering, oh, what am I eating next? <laughs> that, that is all, it's honestly another thing. When you, it's like when you've been in a hotel for a long time, you wake up in the morning, you know what you're going to eat or yes. it's tough for you. you know? But then now you have to think of it yourself like, ah, that no one is cooking right now. Eh? Exactly. <laughs> How's it, how, how was it like for you, Jacobs? 
For me, I think the house. First, first of all, let me just appreciate the whole platform. Mm. Mm -hmm. Without them, I'm I'm shot. <laughs> Somewhere doing something. Who knows? Yeah. But in the house, well, things I le I learned a lot actually you personally. Did. Mm. Um, I wouldn't have been able to come out like you know out of my. I was also in my shell. Mm. From the start, I was trying to be like you know cool with everyone, even though I'm not that kind of person. Mm. But it stopped me how to deal with humans, how to you know um, um, be able to make my own decisions. Mm -hmm. oh, it's, it's helped mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. I like and that. even my self confidence. That was the main yeah. reason I came on the yeah. track. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Yeah. yeah, no, you you walked out as a very very confident gentleman. Um, now, how how so? That's a wrap on J. Chris and then Hemis interview on Three FM. Speaking about the endorsement deal and all that, you know, they spoke about the endorsement deal. I'm very happy for them because it's not easy getting their first endorsement deal barely a week after being evicted on the show. is such a big feat that you know they need to celebrate. And they need to be happy about. They also spoke about the love they are getting after the show because they thought how they came in, the way the housemates were moving to them and all that. They thought that you know they were going to get a lot of hate after the show. But so far, it's been all love. Like so far, the streets really loves them. Like that, that, that that's what they are saying. The streets loves J. Chris and then Hermes. Like the streets really loves them. And you know, they appreciate the support and all that. And then they also pick their winner for perfect match extra season two and the winner they they want anybody aside rosie and drew and you know the reason why they will not be supporting rose and drew because they for for once they blame them for the breakup of the jjd brothers and you know they, they you know they blame them because i did a video where you know jay chris was calling jason a puppet of drew jason answers to drew drew answers to rosie so in turn they are the one manipulating or they were the one manipulating the group and they caused their breakup they also spoke about you know a life in the house they thank tv3 for that opportunity for you know giving them fame yes giving them fame and all that so uh, basically that was it the food everything and you know uh, how the house was they had to apologize to you know a whole lot of people the lessons they've learned and all that but very soon you know we will we, we'll give you a comprehensive you know a report on what is going on in the lives of j chris and then hermes because that is what we do here on this platform perfect match extra season two this is loyalty tv series subscribe like share and then put us on post notifications so that whenever we post you get to see what we are doing on this platform for now guys we out